We are back with the third charm, episode 16, the final episode. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know what would be really funny? If the final episode was also like nothing but flashbacks, that would be hilarious. Wait, she's the one doing the talking this time in the conversation, and he's the one that can't respond? Wow, this is new. The roles have been reversed. No, he's a guy out there. I really don't like the music in this drama. Like I was, I was glad it was silent right there for a little bit. Are they meeting the parents? Yeah, and this makes me really think that Jin Young and Officer Min are actually gonna end up together. I thought that wasn't the plot. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be shocked if they end up together. <laughs> Why is she smiling at him now? What is wrong? What is happening? Why is she suddenly like him again? Does she have mood swings that last years at a time? Is it going to be a big reveal at the end about why she was so mean to her boyfriend? Look, the shoes aren't a good fit for her. Just like Jude Young isn't a good fit. And she's trying to force her feet into the shoes and trying to force her way into Jun Young's family. Metaphors, man! They better not point out that metaphor, by the way. They better not say, I realize I'm trying to force myself into your life. Like, I'm trying to force my feet to fit into these shoes. <laughs> I hope she doesn't say that. <laughs> I know I'm number two to you. Oppa. Why is she letting go so easily after she fought so hard to be with him? That long distance relationship, going all the way to Portugal, Lisbon or whatever, and screaming at the airport, knitting him the scarf. <laughs> <laughs> it's been over 10 minutes and we haven't seen a flashback yet. The most predictable thing oh, has happened. I have disappointed you again, family. I'm going backpacking in Rome this time. Smack the shit out of him. <gasps> oh, he actually is hitting him! Oh shit! 정도면 아주 잘하고 있는 겁니다. 자, 이주 후에 또 봅시다. They're not gonna show any of the process of her dealing with cancer and the horribleness of it. They're just gonna skip to the end. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna take care of her now. She had to get cancer for him to want to take care of her. 먹고 싶은 거 있으면 다 말하고. Oh, that's why she has the thing with the cats now, because her daughter had a thing for the cats. Okay, so she's kind of doing it in remembrance of her daughter. I thought she was just being weird. <laughs> I just spilled hot chocolate on me. Oh, it burned. I'm an idiot. I was laughing. I jiggled my hot chocolate too hard. Yeah, we've seen this. No, oh, we get a first flashback. How far are we into this episode? 16 minutes. 16 minutes in and we got a first flashback. We got we got pretty far with that one. All right, she's going around the town looking at flashbacks cuz we have to have this in every episode. <laughs> I do like how they showed the unedited version of that flashback. Just because she's reminiscing about the good part of her life doesn't mean she likes Jun Young. She just liked how she was happy back then. Didn't necessarily have to do with him. Literally, he was just there for like a day. A day and two hours. Wait, that day and two hours were like the happiest day in her life? Maybe it is because of him. That's pretty sad. Man, his dad, his dad took it the hardest. Why did you do it? Why did you upset the best character in this drama? How could you? She's 
shouldn't do what? Yeah. Exactly. I was thinking the same thing. What do you mean in the old days? Come back when you've been sick for like five years. So is that a confession? It's like he really he really liked Officer Min. It's like he lost a family member because he got pretty close to her. He's going on a trip. Are you really gonna go backpacking? <laughs> He's going backpacking at the senior citizens community center. Oh! This is that place! I was wondering if they were gonna bring it back. This episode also is nothing but flashbacks, it seems. Uh, this is the worst. <laughs> oh my gosh, she actually went back! Uh, well, at least they did that. <laughs> Damn. Wow. They actually did something unexpected and brought it back to something earlier in the drama. Now they gotta bring back the couple rings that they got at the un what in the second episode. They gotta bring back the bully. <laughs> <sighs> Everybody in this drama just exists for the leads. Like, this story that he's telling is just for the leads. It's just to be a metaphor for what the leads are going through. Ugh. Why can't people be unique individuals? <laughs> <laughs> what? They're acting like she's gonna die in the operating table. What if she does? Oh my gosh. I can tell Young Jae is just relating everything she's saying to herself. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, he's gonna go make up with his daddy. Daddy, forgive me. Your dad became an alcoholic because you broke up with your fiance. You son of a bitch. Put a craft singles on top of that. I thought he was a chef. <laughs> uh, so dumb. How much time do we have on this drama? Twelve. Is it gonna be twenty more minutes of sharing food in silence? That'd be really boring. Gosh, this is so, so painfully boring. I've I've watched painfully boring dramas before, but it's it's been a long time. When I think of painfully boring, besides this drama, I also think of Radio Romance and Come and Hug Me. 선물이 있다. 뭐 뭔데? 그동안 나 고생했다고? Oh no! Oh no! No no! 이게 진짜 선물. Oh, that's the real gift. Yes, have a ceremony. Do it for him, you selfish bitch. Oh, are they getting dressed for the marriage ceremony that she does not want to have? <gasps> it's not them getting married, is it? Is it? Oh my gosh, it is. It's so weird. I feel like we're just getting married because of the situation. 
그래도 좋아 보인다. Does she? I feel like I'm being gaslit, man. 공기도 좋고 개 이름도 피우고. 오빠가 그러는데 너 뉴욕 간다며? 응. 뉴욕 그 유명한 레스토랑의 수석 셰프라. 바쁘게 살아야지. Is it over? Oh my gosh. It's over, right? It's completely over. Man, that was the most boring ending I've ever seen. Holy crap, I could hardly tell it was an ending because at least the three last episodes were all the same. Just nothing but flashbacks. It was painful, a painful watch. Holy crap. We went through all of this. It was like a big nothing burger, really. <laughs> it's like nothing happened. We ended the same way we started out, basically, except they're less happy. <laughs> Well, I guess the side characters actually changed. Their lives changed. They didn't change, but their lives changed. Well, I don't know. I guess her brother became a little less selfish. Her brother seems to have had like the most blatant character growth that happened overnight. Right when he got chewed out, that's when he started realizing that he's a jerk. Happened very quickly. Everyone else stayed the same. Well, I mean, Snakehead. <laughs> Snakehead. Oh, uh, that's a weird one. Oh my gosh, Plastic Surgeon Guy? What a throwaway character. Oh my gosh. Talk about doing a second male lead dirty. I mean, damn. I've seen some poor treatment of second male leads before. <laughs> well, what other dramas treated second male leads like crap? My roommate is a Gumiho. What else? Uh, while You Were Sleeping... But this is, yeah, this is the worst treatment of a second male lead I think I've ever seen. Actually, he's hardly a second male lead, hardly. Even though he did marry the female lead, he's still hardly a second male lead. He's barely in it. She obviously doesn't like him, but he's obviously a disposable character. It's so strange. This drama was very strange. This is a first. I haven't seen anything that has done the things that this drama has done. And I'm glad this is the first time I've seen this, to this degree. This degree of criminal offense. Oh, and by the way, this may have been the final episode of The Third Charm, but this is not the final episode of this series. I'm gonna put out one more video, and I'll do an update of my character mood progression tier list. And I'll also generally go over the whole drama and do an overall critique and then I'll explain how I would rewrite this show to make it into something that I think would work a lot better without diminishing the message that this show was trying to convey. So I'll see you in the next episode.